Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today, this morning, I went to a local car boot sale on the hunt for cheap bargain fishing tackle. I picked up a few things, so in this video I'm going to show you what I got. So starting off with the biggest item, I picked up this old retro fishing seat box. A Malibu, if you're, if you're a child of the 80s or the 90s you might remember these. Um, I've actually got one of these that's in like almost mint condition. This is a bit beaten up this one, but um, I paid four pounds for this. I offered three pounds, he, he said four, I said okay. Um, I probably wouldn't have bothered buying it if it wasn't for the legs on it. It's actually got legs on it. A bit like, a bit like the Octoplus legs, um, adjustable here, Malibu Bankmate adjustable leg and trolley system. I've never seen that myself, but very useful. I think you could put a feeder arm on here, an umbrella arm, uh, and even a bait tray. So for four pounds, you can't really say no. It's got a shoulder strap as well. As I say, the box is a little bit, a little bit beaten up, but it's intact. And it also came with a bait tray that's got a broken end on it. I've just noticed that, but um, again, even if you wanted to just put your bait in here and store it, it's a good storage box and it's got these legs. So four pounds, I don't think that's a bad deal at all. So now for the smaller items. I got these lures. I'll just show you. I got this pack. Storm lures. It says on the back 2007 Rapala. So I'm guessing these are made by Rapala. Storm must be something to do with that. Wild Eye Swim Shads. So good for a bit of perch fishing or pike fishing. One pound I paid for those. So there's no rust on the hooks. They look good. A pound, I think that's a bargain. And I got another pack from the same guy. Uh, Mega Force. These are made by Daywa. Realistic action forces aggressive attacks from predators. Sonic Shad Lures. And there's three in that packet. And again, they were a pound. So a pound each for the lures. Can't really grumble with that. Then I bought um, I bought this MGT bite alarm and um, bait uh, bait needles baiting toolkit. So I got the two of these for five pounds. So I offered it was this was five pounds and this was no this was four pounds and this was two pounds and I said can I have both for a fiver? So I've got a baiting needle set there, brand new. And then this, this bite alarm, just a basic bite alarm. I thought I'd put this in my coarse fishing tackle box in case I'm ever out and I just wanna, I've already got good bite alarms for carp fishing. This is not gonna be my main setup, but this is just one to take with me if I don't, if I don't have my carp set up. Um, it's got a little bag with it. There it is. And I actually went out and bought battery for it as well from the pound shop, so I'm gonna, Get a battery in that later on. So a fiver for a little bite alarm and some bait needles. And then what I also bought, I bought this bag of fishing tackle. This is how it was in the bag. Two pounds for the bag. Nothing too impressive in here, but again, very cheap. So I got a very basic little reel. It's made by Sunshine. It's an S7-1000. Really basic little reel. It's got the line caught around it at the moment. I'll sort that out later on. Um, what else is in here? Sundridge Force 8 pound spool of line. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, next thing, oh, uh, some scales made by Dam. Some Dam fishing scales, not bad at all. They look like they work as well. They go up to 50 pounds. That's cool. There's a spool in here, uh, but there's no reel for it. So just a random spool. Then there's a box. Nice little tackle box full of hooks. Loads of, loads of hooks in there. What else do we have? There's um, there's a handle for a fishing reel, but I don't have the reel. And then there's an old catapult made in Italy. Um, it's probably no good. It's yeah, the elastic's perished on that. I could change the elastic, but for two pounds. And then there's a little bit of a bung for a pole an elastic bung and that's it but uh, I mean the scale alone is probably worth that so happy days there and some hooks plenty of hooks in that box that's all I got um, this time I don't buy fishing tackle from the boot sale that often one because I don't really need any more tackle and two because I get a bit carried away and I just end up with way too much gear but um, I think I did pretty good, so that's a total of about eight, nine, about 13 pounds. That's what I got. I think that was okay. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what you've been buying recently. If you've bought any cheap used tackle at the car boot sale or wherever. Okay, so that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give a like and also consider subscribing for more fishing related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.